This is a quick video to show you how to get a third-party modem router connected to CenturyLink. Um, I'm using Netgear uh, as my modem router and I live in Minnesota, so I'm using CenturyLink. Uh, I'm assuming that you can get to this page. Uh, the directions from uh, your router should show you how to access the menu inside the router so you can set it up. Make sure you have a router that can handle CenturyLink. Uh, they have some special requirements. Um, here's a quick show of how it's done. Um, you need to get to this page open. Uh, you'll be able to do that from your directions. Uh, once you get there you click on advanced and then you click internet and this page will come up and this is the main page that you need to fill in. There's just a few things you need to have correct set. Um, I'm going to zoom in on here. It says select internet service provider. And over here you select CenturyLink. Uh, the next question, transfer mode and DSL mode. You need to have it set to these two. VDSL, PM, PTM, and VDSL2. That's here. That's a... In Minnesota, that's what they use. Um, the next box, I've got internet connected. This is the tricky one. Enable this interface. I had to click both of those boxes. And over here, I had to put those numbers in. And it seemed to work for me after that. Um, does your internet connection require a login? Yes, it does. Um, so, once you get that, you select yes it does, you'll get these other questions that come up. Alright, let me move the page. Encapsulation, you need to put PPO, oops, come on, focus. I don't know why it just went out of focus. Sorry. There we go. PPE. PPOE, you need to have that one selected. Um, then you need to get this login and password. You need to call CenturyLink Direct, and then they will give you these uh, numbers or give you the information. Basically, it's your name, <laughs> uh, email, and it's century at CenturyLink.net. Not .com, but .net. And then below that is the eight-digit password that they'll give you. Um, you want the next box you can leave blank. You put always on and zero for the next one, and those are, I think, the timeout, connection mode, and idle time. The next box, internet IP address, you want to check the Git dynamic. The next box is also, you want it automatic. And then on the last one, let's see, NAT, you want to enable that. And the very last thing you want to check is the router MAC address. Use the default address. Now here, somebody tried to tell me to use the old MAC address on the bottom. I did that, and it did not work. So just use the default address. Um, and you don't have to worry about filling all these other boxes. Those will get filled in. Once you get that all done, you can hit Apply, and your... Uh, internet should work, providing you have your modem plugged into the DSS line. Hopefully this helps you. Bye now.